should see him in practice. Um, you know, we're used to it because he, he's such a good player. And he's like Coach said, um, he's becoming like an all-around good team player. So I think um, when we draw up plays for him and stuff like that, we, we almost know what we're going to get. You know, he's really consistent that way. And, um, you know, I love playing with him because you know what you're going to get, even though it may seem quiet uh, like to the fans or whatever. Um, we Everybody knows what we're going to expect out of Byron. So um, I guess he he um, he's he's really improving just from like watching last year um, as a fan because um, like Coach mentioned, he's not really forcing anything. He's playing within the system, and it's really fun to play with him. So, so what's it like for you starting out the game playing with you and Pichon, two sort of point guards play together, and how does that work defensively for some um, I think it's an advantage just because either of us can run the point, you know, uh, at a decent job. So, but as far as defense, um, we're, we're both pretty active, and uh, whenever we get a rebound, we do our best to try to push and get out and play the system that everybody wants us to. As far as getting up and down and throwing alley oops and stuff like that. How big of an advantage is it for for you guys, the guards, having Omar behind you, just to, if you make a mistake or something, he's there to clean it up for you? Major. Um, uh, another player I love playing with. And we're really fortunate to have him. Um, a lot of times we get bailed out, like if the ball is dead, you know, we just throw it into him or something, and he finishes or gets an offensive rebound. So um, I think he's a he's a big advantage to have in. Um, he, uh, I, I think as the season progresses, he's, he's getting a lot better with being more aggressive with the ball. As you can see tonight, you know, they couldn't stop him at all. So our, our job is just to feed him and look through him because when we go through him, we play a lot better and it opens up everything for everybody else. Andy just spoke a little bit about uh, the trip that's coming up to the Bahamas and mentioned that some of the freshmen might not kind of realize what competition is coming. Do you guys realize what's coming down there? Um, well, I mean, I've never played a top 25 team, so, but, I mean, to quote him, we're going to try to seize the moment, you know. Um, I, we're just excited, really, and anxious. You know, it's, it's basketball at the end of the day, and we know how to play. And if we just come and play hard and give effort, I think we'll be fine. So, a little bit in the second half, there's a little a little bit sloppy, and some turnovers, trying to push the ball. What do you think's been the hardest part for you, just running the up tempo system right now? Uh, trying to stay in shape, really, is that not getting tired. Um, uh, it, it's kind of hard to, you know, constantly be pushing the ball and playing defense at a high level. But I think I think we're doing a better job. Um, the hardest part, I would say, is just trying to get everybody to run with you, you know, like the bigs and stuff, and get them to sprint the floor. But th they're improving every day. Nicola is, uh, Rashawn, Omar. I think they're doing a better job. So um, I think we and we need to clean up better on, like, defensive class and stuff like that.